All right, today we are taking the 124 out to a 80s and 90s meet up in LA. We're waiting on a friend. We're gonna go together in the 124 and 201. Should be pretty interesting. There should be a lot of 124s, 201s, 126s, and all cars of that era there. The way the top works in the 124 is that there are these two latches right here at the left and right hand sides. You undo them, ideally at the same time, but with one hand, it's kind of difficult to so undo them. Push the top up until it hits this first stop. And then you could come here and push the button down and hold it all the way until the top finishes its folding procedure. Windows roll down. The rear tonneau cover opens. And then the top goes down. And the windows roll back up. And you put the latches back on. And there's a 190. All right, I'm rolling top down because I just don't want to clean it afterwards. Uh, if you drive the top up, it does get a little dirty. So I'm just going to be lazy and drive top down all the way. It's actually pretty cold. It's probably 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It's pretty cold for California, but uh, nothing a little heated seats won't take care of. With the windows rolled up, it's actually not too bad. Obviously, it's a little bit noisier in the cabin. Okay, we made it. So we're just arranging cars right now. Got the 124 with the pre-merger kit. I don't even notice, you put the three-piece on, looks really good. R129 kitted, E500. There's my car. Got a R129 with SL600 with the three-piece wheels. And Christian's 190. So it should get pretty packed. All right, I guess we're all packed in now. Evo 2, a lot of cool cars. Here's another cabriolet with the AMG kit. This one's genuine, so check out the rear bumper. And here's my Duraflex. Pretty close in my opinion. Not too different. The skirts are the biggest difference because you got the cutout. And then that lines up a lot better because I have the fender spacers on mine. So my fender's pushed out about 15 millimeters. And that one uh, just lines up a lot better because it's designed for the fender spacers and mine is not. Also has some staggered wheels in the back. That's something I'm gonna do on my car pretty soon. And black interior just looks so much better. I wish my interior was black. Pretty nice uh, wood sport line steering wheel as well. Really cool car. Genuine front bumper just like mine. Just knows that everyone besides me and Cameron is running clear corners. Amber is the way to go here. Too many clear. Another thing to note on these 124s is that this 500D Cameron's that just left and mine are the only ones that run big brakes. Everyone else is running stock brakes on theirs. It's actually really hard to see behind the monoblocks, but those are bigger brakes. 
and you do get the drilled rotors too, which look really nice. The last three people here, me and Nick are gonna go get some food. All right, we just had lunch at a place called Wax Paper. It's actually really good, just some sandwiches. Me and Nick with the Lorenzo 124. Had a couple of people staring at our cars while we ate, which is really cool. Even just like regular people can appreciate these cars. So now we're gonna head back. One of the downsides of hanging out after in LA is all this traffic now coming back home. All right, and we are back. So that was a really good event, really good turnout. A lot of people were talking to me, so I'm sorry if I didn't get to talk to anyone that was there that wanted to speak with me. I was just talking to everyone the whole time. I barely had 10 minutes to film.